Really? Yes. Uh, you happy? Yes. The touch the flat label. What's your name? Say hello. Okay, goodbye. Oh. Have you started? Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ole. Lisa, and I am an ESL teacher living and working in Taiwan and on this channel we talk about career, lifestyle and faith. If you are new to this channel, welcome, you'll pretty much enjoy it and if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for supporting my channel. So on today's video we'll be talking about how much it cost me to move to Taiwan as a family. I know many people have been asking me about that, um, asking how much it really cost. Oh my gosh, I'm in the park. It's like cut out. As I, as Daddy, I was saying, Daddy, many people. Let's go play. I can't. Go play. Go, go, go. So many people have been asking me about how much it cost me to move with a child or as a family to Taiwan. And today I'll be making a video about how much it really costs, breaking down each cost so as to show you or you get a picture of how much you're going to need to spend as a family, um, maybe a family of three or a family of four, but my family is a family of three. So I'll be speaking on cost based on that. So um, let me just take out my phone to check the costs so I'll be checking each and every detail of how much things cost um, just a disclaimer before we start uh, doing this um, this is by no means giving anyone financial advice or on how to plan uh, for finances yeah. before coming to Taiwan I'm just sharing my experience so um, once you get a um, you get accepted after the TFETP interview or any other interview with the cram school they accept you they're gonna want to apply for a work permit and after waiting for some weeks when your documents are true and now that you can apply for a visa so these costs start from the visa application process right so for me because I was going with my child there were a lot of documents that we needed to pay for and considering that I was not in Pretoria, I was not in Pretoria, so I couldn't do a lot of things like going to the magistrate to um, notarize the document, going to the embassy. I couldn't do all of that. So I had to get an agent that is reliable enough for me to trust with the process. And I can say that the agent is pricey, but is very reliable. I have two people that I use, another one is cheaper and another one is more expensive. You can contact me or you can drop a comment uh, in the comment section if you want any contact of these two agents. Okay, so let's get to the cost. Now you wanna book your flight. First things first, you want to go and apply for your visa and hear when actually your visa is coming out. So if you're doing this with an agent, my agent was 10,000 for our document, excluding my husband's document. For me and the child, there were a lot of things that we needed to do as there are many requirements. And these include notarizing our 
medicals, notarizing her birth certificate, a lot of things. So we needed to pay 10,000 just for the documents, excluding. So uh, my question to you is, um, so is everyone who comes to Taiwan gonna pay more like the same amount or you pay this amount only because you were using an agent that you wanted like to get your things within like weeks okay so with people who come to taiwan you're not going to pay the same amount depending on it's a case by case basis so if you are using an agent of course that's going to count towards the cost as i said this agent is much more expensive than other agent so with another agent you can get a cheaper price if you go there by yourself you're in Gauteng, you're in pretoria you're very close by where you can travel you can afford to travel of course you'll pay much cheaper than that so it won't be ten thousand for everyone but i can say that the process in itself is a little bit costly because if i break down besides the documents if i break down the fact that after getting a work permit I had to go get medicals and medicals were like 2,000 for me alone. 2,000 when I include the doctor's consultation fee, maybe that's 500, so 2,500 for medicals alone. And then I had to get a passport. Some of you may have a passport already, which is great, but if you don't, you have to get a passport. At the time I did a passport, it was like 400, but now in South Africa it's gone up to 600. So there are those extra costs before the 10,000 Rand that you might pay to an agent to process the document and to take the documents to different offices that will facilitate all this process. So I paid 10,000 for that, excluding my husband's documents. And then for flights, for me, I pay 15,632 Rands for my flight. And for my daughter because she is a child and she was two years old by that time we were leaving to come to taiwan she paid twelve thousand three hundred and forty two please note that flight prices depend on the time that you book so i booked a little bit late maybe that's why i paid this amount but if you do book a little bit earlier maybe you can pay a cheaper price but because i booked late uh, so the prices were a bit steep and then the visa costs I've already mentioned. I also had to book a BNB close to the airport because our flight was leaving at 7. So we had to be at the airport around uh, half past 4. That's what was advised to us by our the person I bought the tickets from at Flight Center. They said that if you fly internationally, at least be at the airport at least 3 hours before your flight. So I couldn't go from the Eastern Cape, Port Elizabeth to Joburg and like in the morning, way too early in the morning or find a flight that can travel that much. And besides, I was traveling with the child. So I couldn't do that at all because my husband was already in Taiwan. So I had to book a BNB. It's a BNB that is close to the airport. I can um, look for the name of the BNB and just put it up here um yeah but it's a really affordable bnb it's really much convenient i think the cost was like 800 and something but if i include the food because it's like a self-catering bnb so if it's a self-catering bnb we had to eat dinner because we arrived the day before and that cost us about 100 and something because i ate with my daughter so i would say prepare 1100 or 1200 for food because remember in the morning you're gonna wake up like quite early so you want to buy things before maybe a little breakfast beforehand so that you can make your child or whoever you're living with eat before you leave so I paid 1000 approximately 1000 for that BNB and then um, also I would say have an extra 1000 for food. Why am I saying so? You're going to eat on the flight, but when you arrive in Joburg, I arrived mostly in the afternoon. My flight left in the morning um, in PE, so I arrived while it was still afternoon. 
So we had to eat from afternoon and then and then and then. Um, but you know the food costs. So I would say bring at least 1,000 because when you transit in the different countries, let's say you get to Qatar, at least have money to buy a drink. We all know when you travel with a child, they're gonna want something. They're gonna want chips, a snack or whatever. So prepare for the time when you're transiting because in the flight, there's unlimited supply of things. You always raise your hand. If you want a drink, you get it. But just prepare 1,000 at least for food. Or less if you are not such an eater. Um, also, I made 1,000 rand for a taxi. So when you get to Taiwan, now you've paid your visa, you've paid your flight, BNB, you flew to Taiwan, you've just arrived. You go through customs, then you're in the airport. The first thing, you're gonna need a taxi to go to your school. If your school is not there to pick you up, which at the time I was arriving, it was still quarantine, so my school was not there to pick me up. So if you're there and you're with TFETP, normally they don't pick you up at the airport, especially the fact that you'll be going to the countryside. So I was going to the countryside, so no one came to Taipei to pick me up. So I had to pay a taxi. And I can say maybe in rands it was 1,000, maybe here 1,500, up to that amount. So I had to pay that amount. And also I had to pay 800 rand for a ticket from Taipei to Taichung. There's a fast train here called HSR. It takes about one hour, 30 minutes to get to your destination. So because there was no one to pick me up, I had to do that and luckily my daughter doesn't have to pay. So that ticket, prepare at least 1,500 because you don't know where you are going. A ticket can start from 700, 800, the last time I accompanied someone who was coming from Swaziland, the ticket was 1,300 because he was going to Kaohsiung, I think. That's how you say it, I think Kaohsiung. So just prepare somewhere around 1,000 Rand for the ticket. Oh, oh, the Corona. <laughs> No problem. So, and also you want to get a SIM card. So when you get here, obviously you want to communicate with your family back um, where you come from, be it in South Africa or any other part of the world. So you'll probably get a SIM card at the airport and that cost around... So the SIM card is separate from the data plan that you have to purchase. Um, and that would be roughly 1,000, I think, yeah roughly 1000 and then uh, when you get to your house of course your school would have organized maybe an apartment for you to rent and here in Taiwan you must pay two months deposit and the rent so it roughly depends on where you are if you're in the countryside it's way cheaper if you're in Taipei it's not that cheap so here in Taipei maybe roughly a one bedroom could be 13 to 15,000 NT but back in the countryside it can be way less um, in the countryside I paid 6,900 NT and when I moved in I had to pay that 6,900 times 3 and that was 20,700 which is roughly 12,000 roughly 12,000 and then you'd want to have money for groceries but I wouldn't say bring money for groceries hey because you're new to Taiwan so most probably you're not gonna understand the food you're not gonna like the food you're probably gonna be eating at the convenience store or McDonald's or Burger King or wherever you're gonna be eating but you're probably gonna be eating takeaway for the rest of the month so I would say bring a chunk of money for going out almost every day. During lunch, of course, you're going to eat at your school. 
and some schools do say you must pay for that but some don't since they understand that you've just arrived and also I'm so sorry I keep checking this on my phone all right you have to pay for your ARC okay. ARC is 1000 NT and your lunch 1000 which is about 800 rands and then when you bring in a child you're gonna have to prepare some money for registration if you're in the countryside i would say prepare 10,000 nt if you here around taipei 20,000 30,000 nt depends on the school if it's a public school they're probably gonna pay way less uh, money or not pay at all just like me because i wasn't paying any fees in a public school but in a private school however they do have to pay a certain amount towards uniform towards their registration and then of course you're going to get a discount since you're a teacher there and then okay. lastly you have to get an easy card so an easy card is like a card that you can use in any store here in taiwan so it's like a start value amount that you put in you can put in a thousand whatever amount you want to put in you can use this for transport for food what else can you use an easy card for? For almost everything. Almost everything. Can yeah, almost card. everything. But yeah, I would say for transport, set that aside. Yeah. If you are in Taipei, you can buy a T pass, which is roughly one thousand three hundred. If you're in the countryside, I would say fill up a card with the same amount. So in total, that cost me. 71,274 71,274 that NTD? In, in NTD let me check in, in NTD that was 122,165 NT and in USD it was 3,000 781 USD so yeah I hope you found that informative and I hope that it can help you out when you're planning to come here with a family it is very much costly I can say but you have to plan around it and just try and get here most things you'll do after you get your first salary um, yeah so if you have a question please drop down your question in the comment section if you liked this video give it a thumbs up please don't forget to like share and subscribe see you on my next video bye